Hi, I'm Jürgen and I'm going to show you the new features of our new Fanon X projectors. All settings of the laser are controlled with our software uh, toolbox. In the main window you find the status information, the state settings and some device information. Inside the main tab you find the laser tabs which provide detailed information for every installed laser device. Here in my Fanon Basic I got three colors red, green and blue. If there are more colors installed in the laser you will see them here too. Now we take a closer look into the projection tab which includes the settings for the masking. Beside the information about the scanning device and its status you'll find the setting selection where you can choose from four settings for each section the transformations, the grating wheel, the electronic masking and the safety. The first setting is the default setting with no transformation, no electronic mask and a full safety area. The only setting that can be changed is the grating wheel. Let's take a look at the transformation. I choose the first transformation setting and then I go into the transformations area. Here you can change the source of the input, the size, offset, keystone and rotation. By clicking onto a slider and moving the mouse you can increase or decrease the size. By double clicking onto the slider you reset it to the default parameter. By using the control key on the keyboard and clicking onto a slider you move both sizes at the same time. To show you the result of the transformation I will change the ILDA external input into the internal test pattern. So now you see the horizontal size, the vertical size, the offset, the keystone and the rotation. Let's go to the safety area. The safety area is the area where the movement of the scanner is checked. In case the movement gets too slow, the laser output will be turned off. I will choose uh, at first the, the simple um, area and by clicking onto the edit button the edit window will open up. In the simple editor it's only possible to change a square to mark the safe or unsafe area. By clicking onto the edges you can change the size and uh, by clicking into the square you move the position of the square to change the safe or unsafe area. Don't forget to press the apply button to save your setting. In the complex settings you'll find three tools to create your own shape. The first tool is the pencil tool which draws point by point a shape into you, the working area. By clicking onto the points you can change their position or by clicking onto the red dots you can insert a point. The second tool is the square tool which inserts a square into the area. The third tool is the circle tool which inserts a circle. All these tools can be used to create different shapes in the working area. Once you're done don't forget to press the apply button to save your setting. By using the unsafe and safe switch you can change the assignment of a selected shape. 
So it's possible to create a safe area inside an unsafe one. To make the positioning of the area as easy as possible when you're on site, you can switch the input to the shape input. That will show you the shape you're editing, so it's very easy to focus the area to fit your needs. Now we go to the masking. The masking has also three user settings. I'll choose the complex one. By clicking onto the edit button, the editing window opens up. And because the shape input is still active, we will see the output directly on the laser when we draw the shape. Functionality is the same as in the safety editing, except for the intensity. Each shape can have a different intensity. Let's make an example. First, I change the source into the external ILDA input, and I start the test picture on the DSP. Now, I open the edit window, and as you can see, the mask reduces the intensity to 20%. Now I change the intensity to zero, and after pressing apply, it now blanks out the whole mask. Changing the shape will also change the mask on the picture. And now I will add another shape here. After pressing apply, you will see the masking in the laser output. Uh, now I will add another mask with another intensity. And after pressing the apply button, you will see that in the output too. So changing the position and size in the controller does not have any effect onto the masking. We are sure that this new feature will intensively enhance the safety of your audience. Thanks for watching.